Smoko, the cafe that does not discriminate. Yesterday, some of you might have seen that we, Calvin in particular, was trespassed uh, from the Miranda Farm Shop and Cafe, otherwise known as the Stray Dog in Miranda, and uh, caused a bit of a fuss on Facebook. Uh, he, he, the owner, Sean, put up a post saying that he trespassed someone today, uh, Calvin Alp, and Calvin Alp had told him before he left that he's going to make him famous. And he didn't quite get that what Calvin was actually saying is we're going to make you infamous, Sean, because it's not cool what you did. And your Facebook page got hammered, uh, more than 600 comments in less than three hours, and you then had to shut the comments down, and you amended the post to take Calvin's name out because the majority of the comments were in our favour, weren't they, Calvin? They were. To be accused of something, you've never disrespected the place, always been courteous, um, never did anything you were claimed of doing, and to be trespassed for that, or because... Um, He's one on the other side. He's more of a Nazi side of implementation of COVID shit that we've been completely against and been rallying against from day one. And we don't, we make no apologies for that because why? We're right again and they're wrong. So the masked Muppet, that's why his cafe is called Two Shots Cafe. It's not two shots for coffee, it's two shots of jam. And his masks and all that. And then they have the cheek after it's all over to basically say, all is forgiven, we welcome everyone back. You know what I mean? This is sort of mentality we're dealing with. The only reason we went there is for meetings, because it was convenient, and it was just up the road. So, we'd rather come here. We turn up here, we're welcome. People are actually smiling. A lot of custom here. I mean, there's a few cars in the car park, even at this time of day, on a busy road. It's actually, and the owner, very pleasant. So, if you missed it, Calvin was actually trespassed because the owner said he shared the live stream of the Christchurch mosque attack which is just simply not true he never we've never shared that footage um so it was a lie and he basically was happy to um have us there you know we started going there nine months ago then we moved to the area at the beginning of the year and we've probably been there half a dozen times this year um but he's never said anything to us about it he's never asked us about it he's never spoken to us really he's actually been quite rude most of the time um, but we just thought that was, I don't know, him. His character. Yeah, we didn't really think he had something against us. So Obviously being a prick is his character though. Yeah, but he, he couldn't even really talk to you about it. Uh, he he just believes mainstream media lies. Um, and apparently yeah. his wife calls us white supremacists behind our back. And she also, because, you know, we've had, we've met Liz there before and they've called Liz a white supremacist and she's meeting with her white supremacist friends. I mean, it's just... Absolutely ridiculous. Anyone seen the uh, video I did of my family? Uh, my sister's daughter's first birthday. If you call that white supremacy, there's something seriously wrong and you're colorblind. So anyway, we just met uh, Christy here at Smoko um, on State Highway 2, is it? So if you're uh, in the area, come here. There is a wonderful uh, freedom community and it's got a great outdoor area. Yeah, I'll beautiful. Just it's show beautiful. you. Um, yeah, I'll just flip the camera over. There you go. You can sit down there. Under the trees. And then this is this is all the area out here. Nice willow tree. So yeah, there you go. Great location. Great staff. Great food. Great coffee. And if you need a job, Smoko is hiring.